Ultra, almost 70 years ago, had my wonderful baby shower at the Trockmore restaurant in Tuckahoe. Do you remember how elegant you looked that day? <coughs> Brand new and all done up in white organdy ruffles and pale mint green bows to match your beautiful <coughs> white wicker body and complimentary hood, complete with wheels yet. You were simply gorgeous. A wonderful surprise and lovely gift for my mother and soon to be beloved nanny for her first grandchild. My good friend Miffy also had a loving hand in this fabulous gift and shower. And my seamstress friend Sue Ulrich was the talented creator of all of your ruffles and bows. Although feeling truly blessed and grateful for all of the love and good wishes from family and friends intending, and for the lofty gifts deep down, I knew that you were definitely the big hit of the day, and I couldn't wait to get you and everything else home and set up in our bedroom so we could be begin patiently waiting for our blessed event to unfold. Two weeks past my due date, that day finally arrived. After giving birth to Christine on January 29th, 1952 and luxuriating for one whole week in Lawrence Hospital afterward. Yeah. Can you believe it? I know. Yes. Those were the days, yeah. my friend. We brought our precious baby daughter home where you were anxiously waiting to receive her along with her adoring grandparents. It was a joyful day, but a bit overwhelming for a new young mother who didn't really have a clue as to what was expected of her, but was happy to begin this new adventure by putting Christine into your welcoming fold and watching her snuggle up and sleep contentedly. It was definitely love at first sight for the two of you, I could tell. Of course, reality soon set in within the next few days when the bubble burst and I found myself still in my nightgown at 5 p.m. wondering how in the world taking care of one little baby could be so time consuming and draining between making the formula, sterilizing the, uh, sterilizing the bottles, burping the baby, changing the baby, feeding the baby, burping the baby again, mm -hmm. the endless spit ups, changing the baby again each time changing her into a new kimono and swaddling her in a clean receiving blanket. No onesies or twosies in those days. But after, it was after 5 p.m. that the fun would really begin, when Chris would enter into her fuss period. Oh, yeah. But could a baby really cry this much? Are you sure there isn't anything wrong with her? Uh -huh. <laughs> Could it be one of her diaper pins sticking in it? Oh my goodness. More spin ups? Yeah. <laughs> Through it all, you were such a trooper, always there to calm and comfort Christine in her hours of needed sleep and ours. Mm. She loved you and also loved to be rocked and rolled occasionally. And you didn't seem to mind a bit. As a matter of fact, I think you relished showing off and flouncing your ruffles once in a while. Beautiful. So that was chapter one. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you know what a bassinet is? Mommy. See the wicker chairs that Grammy has in here? No, I wasn't. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a cradle, a baby's bed.